Want to know something spicy? So there is some secret going on in the politics and science of the country. Okay, let me give you a hint. There is a deep secret behind the construction of the world's most advanced stealth bomber. Want to know more about it? Then let's dive into its world. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to explore the super cool world of flying wing aircraft and how they played a major role in creating the most advanced stealth bombers ever. It's going to be an exciting journey, so let's get started. Hey, let's go back in time to the early 20th century, when engineers and designers were totally obsessed with the concept of a flying wing. Oh, did you know that Jack Northrup, the founder of a big aircraft manufacturing company in the US, was actually one of the first people to try out this super cool and groundbreaking design? Also, in 1947, he actually came up with this cool prototype heavy wing bomber called the YB-49. Oh no, that's too bad. One of the two prototypes crashed back in 1948. But don't worry, the concept of the flying wing didn't disappear completely. It continued to be developed and explored. Jumping ahead to the 1990s, we've got the super cool Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber, which has been a total hit. But you know what? The United States military was like, hey, Northrop Grumman, we need your help again. Cause like, the service life of their thing was almost over, you know? So they wanted an updated version and they knew Northrop Grumman could hook them up. So because of this, they came up with the B-21 Raider. It's a super advanced bomber that's made for really long missions where it needs to stay safe. This aircraft is pretty impressive. It can carry both regular and nuclear weapons, and its advanced stealth technology helps it sneak past enemy air defenses without getting caught easily. Also, you must hear about the B-21's unveiling ceremony in December 2022. They made a really cool connection to the Doolittle Raid which was a super daring mission that happened a few months after the Pearl Harbor attack. So there was this raid, right? It was pretty intense. They had a whole bunch of B-25 Mitchell bombers taken off from aircraft carriers in the Pacific. Their mission? To bomb Tokyo. Can you believe it? Yeah, even though the B-25 bombers did pretty well overall, they definitely had their fair share of challenges. Some of them ended up crash landing, ditching in the sea, or even having to bail out over China. We mentioned this historical event to show how the B-21 can help avoid risky actions in the future. Oh, the B-21 sounds really exciting, although we don't know all the details about its capabilities yet. Northrop Grumman is really optimistic about this state-of-the-art aircraft. Now let's dive into the current top US bomber, the B-2 Spirit, which is also known as a stealth bomber. This flying wing is really something. It's a massive one at 172 feet long and can carry a huge 40,000 pounds of bombs and munitions in its two internal bomb bays. This aircraft's design is really cool. It takes inspiration from predatory birds and has some advanced stealth technology. This helps it sneak past enemy defenses with amazing precision. You know, even though the B-2 is pretty big and doesn't have the usual tail controls, it's actually quite nimble. It's all thanks to this cool design concept called aeroelasticity. Instead of having a regular vertical tail fin, it uses a cranked kite configuration with tail surfaces that are angled inward. This design combines the functions of a rudder and an elevator into one control surface. The B-2 is quite impressive when it comes to staying stealthy. It uses a bunch of fancy technologies like radar absorbent materials, low observable techniques, integrated avionics, and super advanced navigation and targeting systems. All of these work together to keep it hidden and undetectable. The B-2 has been used in different missions like Kosovo, Iraq, and Afghanistan. But you should know that the B-2 is quite expensive, costing around $2 billion per aircraft on average. The B-2 has quite a fascinating story. It was actually the first bomber to fully embrace cutting-edge stealth technology. You know, it took some inspiration from the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, which was known as a stealth fighter and was introduced over a decade before the B-2. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, stealth technology has really advanced over the years. It's not just one thing that makes an aircraft stealthy, but a combination of different techniques and design strategies that work together to make it harder to detect. Are you talking about stealth aircraft? Yeah, planes like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II are designed to be super sneaky. They use smooth surfaces, special shapes, and materials that absorb radar waves. All of this helps to make the radar cross-connection as small as possible. Oh, you know what's really cool? They use some unconventional angular shapes on aircraft to make them harder to detect by radar. And get this, they've even got these advanced avionics and sensor integration systems that help minimize any emissions that could be picked up by enemy sensors. It's all about staying one step ahead, you know? 
The United States military has been a major driver of technological advancements for more than a century. They've been responsible for some incredible innovations that extend far beyond just aviation. You know, one of the coolest things that happened lately is the amazing progress in drone technology. It's really mind-blowing. Drones, you know, those unmanned aircraft that are used for all sorts of things, have made some incredible advancements. One of the standout drones is the Northrop Grumman X-47B. It's one of the first drones that can actually take off and land on an aircraft carrier all by itself. The X-47B was designed to be stealthy and efficient, with its recognizable flying wing shape. The X-47B program was actually discontinued after they made just two aircraft. But don't worry, the US military didn't give up on exploring unmanned flight capabilities. They kept on going. Oh, have you heard about the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray? It's this cool unmanned aerial vehicle that the Navy introduced in 2019. It's designed to do aerial refueling for carrier-based aircraft. The Stingray is pretty cool because it has a more traditional design that can hold lots of fuel for refueling multiple aircraft. But it also has some sneaky features, like a design that makes it harder to spot on radar, a smooth blended wing body, and materials that absorb radar signals. This aircraft is going to be super important in the years to come. It's really amazing to see how far aviation and military technology have come, right? And you know what? We shouldn't forget to give credit to those innovation offices in the US military. They play a crucial role in all these advancements. Places like the 509th Bomb Wing at Whitman Air Force Base in Missouri have their own special innovation offices. These offices are all about encouraging creativity, solving problems, and coming up with new ideas and technologies. These initiatives are not just helpful for military operations, but they can also have an impact on our daily lives and civilian applications. Drones are being used in a lot of different industries right now. It's not just for the military anymore. They're being used for things like surveillance, delivery services, and even in agriculture. It's pretty cool how versatile they are. Drones are so versatile these days. They can be used for all sorts of commercial and consumer applications, opening up a whole new world of possibilities and making things way more efficient than we ever thought possible. Did you know that not only the US military, but other countries as well, are really stepping up their game when it comes to advanced aircraft and stealth capabilities? It's pretty impressive how much they're investing and pushing the boundaries of technology. Yeah, the global aerospace scene is changing fast, so it's really important for the US to stay ahead in defense technology. So to sum it up, the development of flying wing aircraft has been all about pushing the boundaries and paving the way for super advanced stealth bombers and unmanned aerial systems. It all started with the YB-49, and now we have the super cool B-21 Raider. The military's dedication to pushing the boundaries of technology has truly made a mark on aviation history. As we think about the future, it's important for us to embrace creativity, collaboration, and technological breakthroughs. These things will help us stay ahead in the military and drive progress in different industries. Stay focused on what's coming up next and be prepared for the exciting new advancements that'll shape our world. Thanks for joining us on this exciting journey. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all the thrilling content that we have in store. Catch you later.